Hello everyone, I'm Marzat97, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We last left off, we well, came to Nels and helped the boomers do a bunch of stuff like, you know, kill a bunch of ants, fix some solar panels, explode a couple of times, force true love by people who just kind of just met each other for like five minutes, and then they kind of are like partners for life, so you know, kind of shaky on that one. But hey, I mean, we're being a positive influence on the community. Is that right, Arcade? Which reminds me, Arcade, I need to see, how are you doing an ammo sure, today? Ooh, you are, you like a pack Brahmin. Okay. you're kind of chewing through ammo, but granted, this thing does take two, 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 uh, make a few cells per shot, so I might have to switch that out at some point. Um, but anyways, so today, the goal is to probably go finish the Boomer's Quest by fur stepping in here and having a lovely conversation with Pearl. Just hop through the doorway here through a quick load screen and Pearl, oh, Pearl? Really? So we may see our dream of flight soon. Uh, yeah, I guess, but you're also kind of staring out. You're, you're staring at a sheet here, unless you're going through one of these little peak holes or something. I don't know, but... Uh, anyways, Pearl, how are you doing today? You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Uh, well, you know, thanks. I did kind of everything. Like I said, you know, medical miracles, forging true love, all that fun stuff, and also exploding, and... I may have blown up most of your artillery shells in the basement, but besides the point... I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. All right, so we'll take a quick jog over to the Nellis hangar and I'll have a quit, quit, quick chat with Loyal. Man, English is hard this morning. But yeah, but if you haven't played the game before, basically, and also you remember from the little mural over there at the schoolhouse, the boomer's fondest dream is to find an old pre-war bomber, specifically the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress, ink it out of Lake Mead, and turn it into a flying death machine, because people don't learn, apparently. So let's just take a scoot around the pillar. And as the moment passes by, here we are through the hangar. Guess all these crates of who know what, and there's B29 right there, but this one's minus a couple parts, and... Hello, Loyal! How are you doing today? I hope you're up for the task. Yes, I am! How hard could it be? Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the Lady in the Water. The Lady in the Wa? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Uh, where? I mean, like, where is it located? And how do you expect me to pull it out of the lake? So first, so question number one, where is it exactly? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip Boy map. Part two, how do you plan on me raising a freaking 150 year old bomber out of the bottom of a lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. I mean, it sounds stupid, but it works. But I guess, you know, it'll work. Also, the bomber's probably more like, now I think about it, it's probably more like a 125-year-old bomber. Still, it's really old. Or actually, more like a 225-year-old bomber. It's old, okay? Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. And third question, how do I not drown? I'm not, you know, a fish or some kind of amphibian man. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. That sounds fun, and honestly, the, pretty much the whole reason why I did this whole quest line was for that rebreather, because drowning is horrible, and if you remember my time in Volt 3, yeah, that uh, was not pleasant, and... Um, are you too busy? They might be busy, Arcade. I mean, I'm just gonna just say, uh, hi, um... I've never been so happy in my entire life. Couldn't tell, because you guys are probably kind of busy over here. Um, uh, anyways, uh, Loyal said you could help me breathe, breathe underwater. 
I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. I mean, I could also say some science mumbo jumbo like corn silk and rubber hoses and some glue can make a great hermetic seal because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of smart. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Marvelous. Thank you very much. Now you, you two kids have fun over there. You just don't, you know, Hello. You just stay in there because, you know, have privacy and whatnot. Anyways, come on, Arcade. We have on, we have a quest to do. So I guess beforehand, because, let's see, where do we have to go anyways? Over here. So I'll probably just go to Fields' shack and then go from there. But I think beforehand, I'm going to take a quick trip to Nipton. Or not Nipton, to Novak, I mean. To drop off some stuff. I'm kind of heavy right now. If we go to Novak, drop drop off some stuff and give, give Arcade his other gun. Because this one, as much as he likes the laser gun, he uses too much ammo. Because Arcade is a trigger-happy warlord who likes to kill things in the guise of being a pacifist. So, until then, I shall be back in, well, after this brief cut. All right, I'm back up by Fields' shack, and let's get on the journey, which... I'm kind of thinking this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we're just taking a stroll down to Lake Mead, so what? The worst thing we should have down here is just, you know, some lake lurks or something, so it shouldn't be too bad today. Uh, hello there, people. Are you guys settlers or drug junkies? Drug junkies, how marvelous. They're just gonna chill there for a minute. Well, come on, Arcade. Just, just don't mind them. They're just, you know, doing their drugs, having a good time. It's a uh, free wasteland after all, I guess. Let's just take a dip around the bend here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but ooh, got pip over here. I like seeing pips. That means there's stuff over here. Question is, what kind of stuff? Which reminds me, how much money am I sitting on right now? 10,000 caps, so... She might call for a, a trip to the, uh... New Vegas Medical Clinic here shortly. Maybe next episode I'll make a stop there so I can find some more, uh... Augments for myself to make myself faster, stronger, and both last longer, and... I guess the ground over here does not feel like loading in today. Good job, New Vegas, you're trying hard. <laughs> As we're just walking on mush up there it is new vegas you figured it out bud there's also a cow here hello cow malnourished brahmin calf i mean it's free food and like just as a warning no one's here except arcade well i mean Oh, that was Raul's cow. Raul, I'm so sorry, and whatever bad things are going to happen on this trip, I kind of deserve it for that one. Uh, anyways, let's go see what Raul has over here, because... Raul is probably still up with little Tabitha. They haven't done crazy, crazy, crazy yet. But, yeah, that's nice and... The box is angry, which is fine. You guys sit right here. Raul, grenades for me. What a guy. I'll tell him thank you when I, see, when I, go, when I go save him at some point in time. Take that... Bullets. Table. Anything over here? Guns and bullets. That is very nice. Go give that a guess we'll go in the wrong way because I'm smart. It is right. There she is. Extra gun skill. Thank you very much, Raul. Alright, so back out in the, the wastes. Let's to keep pressing on this way. Let's see here. What lies ahead? I don't see anything really. Do a little train tunnel. Hmm. Nothing over there. What's this yonder train tool? Anything? I can't pick that. Boo. Oh. Red pip. What is it? Danger? Oh, what's a freaking death claw? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, crap. 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 I'm scared. Oh, 
Okay. Did not expect to find a death claw today, but uh, we found a death claw. And I was just goo because Arcade is he's good. I like Arcade. He helps me. Why well, New Vegas? If there's one death claw, there's. Oh, and there's red rocks over there too. That means cat. Oh, that's what I get for killing the baby cow. You get to run into Cazadors and death claws today. This is fine. This is fine. Let's see, I mean, like, how many death claws could there possibly be? I'm on edge. Little town down there is also. Let's see, I, mean, I don't see any more down there, but we're still over here. Was it just the one? I think it was just the one. Okay. Okay, I think that was it. Those just the one death claw. Ooh, an early hood bunker. Or safe house, I should say. Anything over yonder. Poppy mugs. A full brewski. Uh tin can, bottles, wonder glue. No, but what's in the actual bunker bunker and ooh. Alright, Brotherhood, I see you. Fresh water, beds, got, ooh, Gatling laser, Tesla cannon, charge packs, missile launcher, 5mm surplus, access to power armor, which I'll put a, put a mental note in that one, more recon armor, minigun, lots of good stuff here. Won't take it now, though, because it's kind of heavy, but, I mean, I could at least I'll put a put a pin in this, so if I ever want to get power armor training from the Brotherhood, I know I can get a nice shiny pair of T-51B. Which is nice. Okay, so, uh, Arcada, write that down. Also, minigun. Fun stuff. They will just leave all this stuff here for now, but good to know it's here if I ever need it. I already know where there's a minigun I want at some point. I ever decided to go take a walk over and get it. Now, my next question is, what is over here in this little train yard? Oh. Yep, I figured there's more of them. Let's see, I could, wait a minute, I could either... Okay. Go uh, that way and avoid the death claws, or... Attempt to take the Death Claws head on and see what happens. I mean... We do have a good position up here. They can't really get to me if it's to go around. So we can probably gun them down before they get, get at us. Plus a good XP if we actually do kill them. So, I mean... I'm going to regret this decision, aren't I? Just stay you bugger. Get a good... Line. Got him. I may hit. I think I might be hitting him actually. He's freaking out. Oh yeah, I'm hitting him. Oh, that's an adult too. Arcade, anytime you like. Yes, yeah, start giving this guy some lead. Uh, I don't have any good shots at him. Alright, we got him. Where'd the other one go? Still over there is the other one. There we are. Got him. All right. Guess we're fighting death claws today. No hand. Darn. Oh, there is a whole freaking nest. 
All right. Um, I got a plan, Arcade. Here, you come over here. This Arcade, follow me. Follow me up here. Your job is to stay up here on the ridge while I go down there and do something very, very stupid. So just come over here, please, Arcade. Or arcade, please. Thank you. Just go there and okay. you stay right there. Now, one thing I noticed when I was in Novak is that I am sitting on an obscene amount of 40 millimeter grenades and mines. So the plan is going to be that it's going to use all these explosives and hopefully cripple a bunch of their legs. Making them easy targets for me and Arcade. Just try to get them the Arcade's up there on the ridge. Kind of just have them all funnel down here to make a little bit of a minefield for them. Put a mine there. Put a mine there. One right here. One right there. Get my plasma mine. Put that a little further back. Like this could be like right here. All right, all my mines are laid. Pulse mine's not gonna do anything to them. Should have put the other grenade rifle away too. I was five pounds of weight. And now from all the way back here, this thing has such good muzzle velocity. I just arc up the shots and please work. More arc. Oh, they're like around the mine. Go in the minefield, you bastards. Run! Oh, no! Okay, this, their, their legs are crippled. Their legs are crippled. That actually worked. Okay, now just let me just... Get a little bit of healing with a stim pack. And just... Arcade is raining in fire. Who's still moving? You're still running. Didn't mean to do that, but that actually worked. Now just... Blow up the baby. Let's keep... Okay, their armor is going. Now I can just go to that gun and use my stash of armor piercing ammo and now just die, 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 die. Okay, okay. We're making progress here. He's dead. Okay, that worked. The baby's running away, so who cares about him? That's my hand. Eggs. Or eggs and hand. Green eggs and ham. Uh, anyway, let me just scoot up here. Good job, Arcade. Is you're now loading into some kind of science wizard. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's move in and clean up, see how many of them are left. There's at least one left over there. Or there's two of them left, it looks like. All launch grenades at them, I guess. Baby death ball over there. <laughs> Arcade, what do you have a ripper? Just, just shoot him. Things are actually looking a lot better than I thought they were now. Now just as a uh, warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. Here we go. Oh! Night stalkers! Arcade look out! Watch the death I'm not let's cripple the death cloth first, me. Night Stalkers! Oh no, Arcade's in trouble. Arcade is in trouble. Arcade might be dead. Yeah, Arcade died. That's, that's, that's fine. 
This is fine. Now I might. Well, uh, um, arcade. I'm so sorry you died right there. Yeah, those night car uh, suckers kind of ruined the plan there. So, um, time travel powers activates. All right, I just laid the minefield again, and oh, and the night suckers are gonna ruin my trap, aren't they now? Oh, uh, these night stalkers. Don't go in the mines. Don't go in the mines. Stay away from the mines, you dirty little dogs. Take care of these. Let's shoot the one. Now that one's dead. Ouch. Ouch. They're okay. Okay, now that they're dealt with. Now let's try attempt number two, as they were so brutally to interrupt me when I was trying attempt number two. Alright, anyways. He's still angry at me, it seems. Oh, there's a missucker over there, too. Uh, Arcade can get it. Arcade, you got this one? Arcade? Don't run on the mines. Where is it? Is just... I don't like it just sitting there. I'll just take care of it, I guess, then. Alright. Now they're taken care of. As I was saying, um, minefield at strategy attempt numero dos. Let's just good hit. That's a leg crippled. Begin falling back. Where are the mi- oh. This one's getting in the mines. Target the ones that aren't crippled. That one exploded. Arcade just killed that one. That one also exploded. Alright, I think that's the majority of them crippled. Now just go back to back end with the AP rounds. Which is- Well, that one's not crippled. That one's not crippled. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Vats, vats, behave, vats, please save me. Oh, this is, this is bad. That was close. I should probably heal. But die, 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 die. Okay! This is fine. Everything is okay. Alright, let me just go up on the hill and grab Arcade. Come on, Arcade, let's get going here. Come on, follow me, buddy. Thank you very much. Alright, how many of these... Oh, what's that one? Give me your stuff. I see one left. I'll do my best. Arcade and I could probably take care of him. It looks like I think he's the last one. Yeah, I think with our art, the those are babies. Just a train yard. There's one adult over there. We could probably take care of him ourselves. Let me just get my longer range rifle. We could probably just gun this guy down. Here we go. Just center a mass him. All right. One little baby left. Anyone else? Oh, is that another is that a baby? That's like a baby. Here we go. Oh, 
Ping! All right. That takes care of all of the death claws. Now there has to be something good here after clearing out a death claw nest. So what is in the shaft they were guarding? Oh, big ol' ant. Hello, giant ant. That's fun. Uh, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Looks like break time is over. Say that again, arcade. Heard some medicine. That's nice. Anything else in here? Or just some junk? Take a quick look at that. I don't really see anything that's worth, you know, going through a death claw nest for. Huh. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I just took a trip onto the Fallout wiki, and yeah, there is literally nothing here. So, uh, that was a waste of time and resources, but I mean, got some experience, and I murdered some death claws, so there's that, and got some good entertainment value. But other than that, it's kind of pointless. Now, what do we have over here? Uh, let's see here. Oh, crap. I'm regretting killing that cow now, by the way. Stupid Cazador. The one right there. Arcade, why do we have a rip around? Use your gun. Ooh, it's crawling at me. Thank you, Arcade. Man, I'm glad to give the other gun to you. You're shooting a lot this episode. Great, it's worth it. Oh, there's more of them. There's always more. There's always, 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 always more. Well, there's one down here, it looks like. There's another young one, at least. But it could be worse, I guess. Let's keep bouncing them into the, the wings. dead. There's an adult over there. And that's somebody's attention, it looks like. Oh, there's that's a big one. There's a lot of them. Uh oh, um, grenade launcher. Yes, that, that's like an excellent idea right now. Um, just just shoot at him, please. Cazador Frenzy, that's, that could be useful. Just please go go and fight your friends. Here we go. Okay, he just murdered his he's, he's murdering his friends. And now he's going to murder me. Okay, okay. Um you you, you just blast him in the wing, or our, our kid kill him. That works too. Another one coming. This is supposed to be a nice, pleasant walk to the lake today. This, this is supposed to be a freaking war zone. Might as well just take the poison glands, I guess, because it's money. But, um, uh... Uh, this is hectic. This is pretty hectic. Uh, I'm gonna avoid those guys if I can, but... Eh, guys in our nest. Uh, what are these guys guarding? There's another one over here, it looks like. Arcade didn't get stung. That's nice. There is a building. Camp counter counterfeiting shed. Oh, shoot. Ow. The sting. Probably any minute, man, honestly. But what's a woozy? There we go. And a level up, though. Okay. Well, that's a plus. So, first of all, let's... Get science up to 50, so I can do average terminals. That's probably a good idea. Put guns on a round number. And 
I could do our numbers. There's a barter perk I do want. So let's just pick barter up to why not? And here's the question though. See, weapon handling, cause well, I know in Old World Blizzard, I get a part to give me more strength, so that means I can basically ha strength for weapons won't really matter anymore. But that's more of a in future kind of deal. Heavyweight, I can do that, but all, no, I don't think any of my weapons weigh ten pounds currently. In future, again, this is another in future perk. This will be nice in future. Uh, let's see, stone walls, peerless scrounger. Terrifying presence is kind of funny. I mean, it's good. So Shotgun Surgeon's always great. Hand loader, fortune fighter. Bloody mess is just more damage, which is fun. And things explode into giblets. Uh, options, 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 options. Let's purifier. Purifier is nice too, just because there's more damage against, you know, some of the most dangerous enemies in the game, saying like. Well, that's definitely just melee, so, uh, that's a matter for me, because I'm using guns, I'm shooting things to death. It's probably either going to be weapon handling, heavyweight, or shotgun surgeon. I'm going to get those kinds, or commando. So I am using my, my, uh, that gun a lot. Or not that gun, my, uh, um, this machine. So one of these two, probably, right now. Uh... Well, one of the guns I do like in the game a lot is the shot is a shotgun. So, yeah, it's good for shotgun surgeon. That'll be useful in future. But what is in yonder shack though? A little dark in here. Five five six, which is nice. Ten millimeter, which which reminds me, I should probably use. No, I just kind of practically upgraded it. My shotgun. Ammo for Arcade, which is nice, because he's, he's been blasting off all, all episode. Uh, let's see here. Nothing else, really. What is in this room? Ooh. Cola, cola, cola. Johnny Guitar's on the radio, and... Bottle cap, bottle cap, star cap. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I kind of like this a lot. This is kind of worth it, honestly. There's all this stuff. Another star cap. Bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. Counterfeit caps, but I'll just take them anyways because I like money. I probably can't use it anyways. Hmm. Nice, little, nice little place here. We got Sunset Sarsaparilla. More Sarsaparilla. So all the Sunset Sarsaparilla in the world. I like it. Ammo. More ammo. See anything else here? First aid box with a bunch of medicine, which is fantastic. Gun case with stuff I can sell for money. Burn book. Skill book. Hello, barter. Increase. Keep having that barter go up, I guess. There is. Yep. Tales of Junk Town, Junk Adventure, or whatever. That gets me up to 41 barter. That good and get that good. All right, good haul in here. I think that's everything. Let's search around again. Skill book and a bunch of soda. Which am I, are my uh, survival metrics? They're okay, but I do need a little bit of health. So I'll take a, a poll on some of these. Then says sarsaparillas. All right. Let's just keep pressing onward. I guess arcade. On our uh, our journey here. Let's see how I'm staying the heck away from those. Child, there's more of them in the hill over there. Which, hang on a minute. Well, it's like got 20 of these left. So uh, I'm just gonna bomb some Cazadors and just get close just enough. Warning, my covert bandaging skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, put your mope in. I want the big one. There we are. 3%? I'll take it. Bonk. 
Well, I hit the little one on accident. Good effect. And I, I, I frenzied him again. Good. Arcade is gonna shoot him. Good job, Arcade. My shotgun as I'm moving in on him, too. That ready to go. Where is my lever action? I don't think he's dead. I think he just ran off. If he's coming, there he is. And Arcade is the fastest trigger finger. Oh, God. That freaking castle with a Mach 5. Arcade, are you okay? Did you get stung? Or did you miss? He's going too fast. Arcade's fine, because that guy was going at the speed of light. Okay. Good times. Nice young Kazador right there. Bunch more of them over that little marina house. Where I'm supposed to be heading towards. And there's also a nice little shack down there, too. What's in yonder shack? That's my question. Ooh. Lake Lurk. He's gonna go sell hi to Mr. Lake Lurk. Hello, Mr. Lake Lurk. Ooh, I have an idea. I got frag grenades. It's gonna... Hello, Mr. Lake Lurk. How do you like grenades? Here's a grenade for you. Boom! I have another grenade. Boom! And Arcade is going to just finish him off. It's, Ar it's Arcade. It's a war criminal. Oh, there's another one coming, too. Alright. One down here, looks like it. You're in the water, man. Ocean Man. Ocean Man. Come on, Ocean Man. Can't target him. Thanks, Arcade. I'm stuck. Crevice, though. I am curious, though, what is in this little shacky shack? Shacky shack, shacky shack. What is in the shacky shack? Let's see here. So I have a... Oh, there's a lake lurk. I can just blast him now with the shotgun. Yep. Or two lake lurks. Hello. Ooh, he thinks he did a good bit of damage on me. Oh! Shot his face off. Where's your friend at? He just dipped. Where'd he go? Yeah, he just, he just, he just ran. Honestly, I can't blame him. Get me out of here. Oh, arcade. Are you fighting him? Oh, Arcade is going after him. Hold him down, Arcade. I got him. Just... Animal control. Lovely. Good work, Arcade. Good job, bud. Okay, let's just wander into this shacky shack. Fisherman's Pride Shack. Anything in here? BB gun. Some BBs. Some sarsaparilla. Uh, a bed. Locker. Pungalism Illustrated. That makes me better at punching things, I think. Yep, more punching. Fun times. And nothing under there. Squirrel stew. Good squirrel stew. That's food. In the fridge, it's new cola. Wine. Other bits of food. Nothing too remarkable, it looks like, in here. Alright. Should probably heal up, though, and there are... A bunch of Mirelurks over there, but I'm not going to mine them yet on that diving platform. Ugh. Just keep me some more hell. And let's keep moving on this way. Toward where I'm actually supposed to be going. Just gotta get 
over the rocks. And I do want to see what's in this other little marina or whatever over here. Alright, starting to get into range. Let's see, what do we have here? And also, now I, th I think about it, I probably should put the rebreather on when I went in the water. But, whatever. So let's see here. Cazador's over there. Okay. Well, we know the drill. Just pull out Thump Thump. And they're gonna go bye bye. I shall take this one that's right here. Go for the. One percent. I like those odds. They're sitting there. Yeah, just do this. This is a good idea. Bonk. There's one left. And I just shoot him down. Shoot him down with that gun. Yep. Easy kill. Boom. Easy kill. Thanks for the poison clan. I don't have to stop to shop soon after this. I got loads of, you know, death claw hands, poison glands, all that fun stuff. That murderous wasteland monster beast gave you. Let's see here. Uh, here. Is there anything even in here? Let's see here. Some stuff in the boat. Some medicine looks like some impacts, radix, ammunition. Eh, that's useful. Nothing in there. Anything else? Nothing in those boats. But in these boats. That boat's empty. All right. Anything else in the boats? Lovely. Now I'm just going to hop in the lake. No, I guess before I forget. Though, Ooh, actually. What is in a little... What is this, a fishing hut? Oh, it's probably like the boat rental shack. We actually go, like, and order your boat or whatever. Anything in here? here we go. Easy arcade. Oh, it's a little mousey. <laughs> Goodbye, little mousey. Ooh, Esperilla. I am like the, sus I am like the Esperilla king right now. Okay, got bottle cap, bottle cap, star cap. Got a lot of star caps on this trip. That's nice. Purified water? It is purified water. Delicious. Cigarettes. Cash resistor. Ching to ching. Uh, we got... Been packing a bobby pin. Fun time. Cigarette cartons. Ooh, a safe, which I can just... finagle my way into. Which is actually a bunch of good stuff right there, too. Not a bad little haul. Is there anything else around here on the shelves? Check the shelves real quick. On pins. I love those. Uh, ooh, hello, lad's life. What are you doing down there? Uh, I think the turpentine. Bull skull. That's it. Okay, cool. Now I guess let's actually go do do what we came here for. We're just gonna go and slap on that rebreather. Go for a swim. Into the depths of Lake Mead, where take a swim out here for a minute and. Let's just see when the old super fortress will come into view. Here momentarily, where is she? Ah, there she is. Quick little swim. Thanks to my handy dandy rebreather. No risk of drowning. So now let me just go down here. Crash between night, how nice. Catch that ballast, which I do like how the ballast, um, it kind of appears a little bit, but, like, you can see the assets there, but it's just, it's, it's incredibly faded. Put that there. Now let's just take a nice little, nice little swim back.
All right, stepping back onto shore. Arcade, look at Arcade. So graceful in a swim. Uh, gonna go and pull out where is Loyal's detonator. Where is this little harpoon and kablooey? And there he is, one floating old World War II bomber aircraft. Fantastic. Good job, Arcade. We actually did it. Now off back to, uh, Nels, I suppose, and there's more of those flying little buggers up there. Ugh. As it are central over here, I guess. Anyways, back to Nellis. Okay, back in the Nellis hangar. Let's go tell Loyal the good news and... Loyal, are you are you getting a piece of the action or, uh... You know, not my business. Anyways, uh, good news. Uh, the plane saved. It's save. going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Oh, about that. Yeah, um, uh, she is floating, by the way. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. All right, cool. Uh, guess robots are handling the rest of the operation, so yeah, I'm happy to help. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Yes, you do, apparently, after seeing that. So I'm going to go and uh, tell Pearl that uh, your guys' greatest dream is, you know, uh, been realized. I'm all spun around now. Ooh, this way, thank you. And, uh, well, I guess you can also, um, uh, so much for a nice, simple stroll, you know, to uh, the plane, even though, you know, there were Cazadors, Death Claws, my own hubris. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Even though, granted, I could have, I don't know, I think about it, it could have as easily just because I know I was... Saying I was gonna just chill out, chill out in a uh, in a uh, Novak. I could have just gone for the followers outpost. I kind of just swam across the lake, but you know, I don't think sometimes. Anyways, let's just go in here and talk to Pearl real quick. Hello, Pearl. Your dreams have been realized. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Like I said, you guys have your guys' death machine. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. All right, see you later, Pearl. And now the boomers are now my very, very best friends. Which is nice, and they gave me some stuff too. But they gave me a boomer's flight suit and glasses. Not good, but great. And well, this actually gives DR, so ooh. that's look cool. This actually gives damage resistance, so I'll wear this for now on. Which I don't even look with this. Uh... Spiffy. I do look spiffy. I do say so myself. But I think right here, I think I will call it a part and. Uh... And next part, man, man, I'm sharing their stuff now. No, we're idolized, but regardless, besides that, in the next part, um, I don't know. We're going to be completely honest, because I have many an option. I could start the DLC. I feel pretty confident fighting Wildlife, so I go to go do the Thorn and do some of the stuff for them. I could just continue my quest, helping the NCR trying to get into Vegas. I don't know. It's pretty open-ended now that I have... You know, the rebreather, which is kind of one of the things I kind of really wanted. But I don't know, so I'll probably have a think and decide what I want to do. But until then, I've been Rolls97, and this has been Fault New Vegas. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice rest of your day.